Hello wrestling fans, boxing fans, and everybody out there. How are you? It's Ryan time. Wrestling and boxing forever. Now, we've got some things to cover. Folks, we got some boxing news to cover. It's been a while. It's been a while that we covered the sport of boxing. But we will today. We got some wrestling news. So, let's get into it. Let's talk boxing first, folks. My man, Tony Harrison, the former WBC 154-pound champion, returns to the ring to get a to get a unanimous decision victory in a, in a very one-sided boxing clinic. Nothing but skill. Tony Harrison. He looked awesome. Looked awesome. Um. And, uh. Please support the uh, Tony Harrison Super Bad Fitness and uh, support the kids that are out there in Detroit trying to learn how to box under Tony Harrison and support that nonprofit organization he's got. It's always good when kids from anywhere and everywhere have the options to learn how to wrestle, box. It's awesome to give back to the people when you can do it. Uh, so support his nonprofit organization that is going to support Super Bad Fitness and all the kids that go there to box. Um, th there was this guy, I forgot what his name was, Sergio, I don't know, but they call him the Towering Inferno. And he defeated Erickson Lubin. Um, it was a it was a hell of a it was a hell of a fight, a hell of a fight. Um, it was back and forth, tooth and nail. Erickson Lubin, even in his loss, he looked really good. Um, Carissa Shields and Savannah Morgan, they're still hyping up their fight. And um, it's going to be, that'll be a great fight when it, when it pops off. Um, Gennady Golovkin picks up the, he was in Japan, and he revitalizes his career, picking up the IBF and WBA 160-pound championships. Now, does this set up another uh, Canelo Alvarez matchup. Will, will that win set up his his much wanted rematch with trip uh, with the uh, Canelo Alvarez? Very much so. I think with, with that with the win that he had in Japan, and it was on a big scale. It was on the zone. Um, I think a couple more wins like that. He's going to get that rematch with uh, Canelo Alvarez. Uh, the last thing we heard about Canelo was he was going to go up to cruiserweight and fight Junior Macabu. Don't know what's going to happen with that. And uh, this Saturday coming is the unification bout with Earl Spence and uh, Ugas. Ugas is defending his WBA belt, and uh, Earl Spence is bringing the WBC and IBF. Now, Ugas defeated Earl Spence in the amateurs. So, I believe that that plays in the back of Earl Spence's mind that he was defeated in the amateurs by Ugas. So, 
We'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be an exciting time for boxing as well. Um, now let's get back into wrestling. Let's get back into wrestling. Now, the WWE 2K22. Let me tell you, folks. I plan on getting this video game. It's worth it. I've seen a lot of the previews and on people playing it on YouTube. And from what I've seen, the game is, is off the wall. Your boy plans to get it. It's going to be awesome. Um, those who have it understand what I'm talking about. Um, I'm still waiting for the eSports Boxing Club. That, that boxing game that's coming out with that amazing roster of boxers past and present. Um, now let's get into this wrestling stuff that I love so much. Um, let's see. The NWA. The NWA. They're getting ready to go back to Kentucky. Power Trip 2. They're heading back to Kentucky. The NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship is going to be on the line. Homicide, Kobe Carino. And Mike Knox takes on Harry Smith, the son of the British Bulldog, and a part of that Commonwealth connection. It's going to be... That card hasn't even taken full shape yet, but from what I'm seeing, it's going to be amazing. I think it's going to be better than the first, first one. Um, Tyrus has a body slam challenge. For whoever can body slam him gets a shot at the TV belt. Um, Rip Titus is getting ready. To get an NWA Junior Heavyweight title matchup. Uh, Billy Corgan made the announcement that it will be Rip Titus getting a shot at the Junior Heavyweight title. And not Darius Lockhart. Uh, Darius Lockhart, in being over competitive, uh, didn't listen to the referee when the referee said break. And there was a disqualification win for Rip Titus. And the, the head man, uh, Billy Corgan, is gonna give a shot to Rip t to Rip Titus. Um, so, but I I do believe that this is not over between Rip Titus and Darius Lockhart. No, 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 no. I believe that there's gonna be more to this feud. There's gonna be more to it. It's gonna be terrific. Across the board. I think it's going to be great. Um, the, the Power Trip 2 will be on April 30th. April 30th. And um, Impact Wrestling has Rebellion coming soon. Josh Alexander gets his rematch for the world title against Moose. And it's coming very soon. And Cody Rhodes made his uh, WrestleMania return. Um, no real surprise there. Um, we expected Cody Rhodes to return sometime soon. We knew, we already knew he was coming in. He was coming in for a big show. And, of course, what's bigger than WrestleMania? So, this is not surprising uh, at all. Um, Curtis Axel could be returning to WWE, but this time as a producer. Um, Scott Hall, Scott Hall they, they had the funeral and burial for Scott Hall. He was laid to rest, uh, you know, re rest in peace to Scott Hall. 
Um, thank you for all the memories for the first ever ladder match with you and Shawn Michaels at, at WrestleMania 10. Uh, I was there personally. So thank you, Scott Hall. Rest in peace. Um, thank you for all the memories. Um, we're going to miss you. Us as wrestling fans, we're going to miss you. Um, you didn't get any better than Scott Hall. Um, he had promo skills. He's probably one of the best promo guys on the planet. He's up there with Jake the Snake Roberts as a promo guy. Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, Dusty Rhodes, of course. These guys are great promo guys. They know how to, to, to grab the fans and make you love them or hate them, but they know how to grab the fans with their promos. And um, the, the havoc that's going on with the NWA World's title situation, um, Trevor Murdoch, he does have a rematch clause, but, but where and when he takes advantage of that is up to Trevor Murdoch. Uh, Nick Aldis, I guess he has to climb back into contention. Um, I believe Marche Rocket's going to get a shot at the national title. I could be wrong. I'm not 100% sure, but it, 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 it looks that way. Um, the Briscoe brothers won the Crockett Cup and they made their intentions clear to have a shot at the w World Tag Team titles that La Rebellion got their hands on. And with the fact that they won the Crockett Cup, that's one hell of a bargaining chip to have when they go to Billy Corgan and ask for that shot. But FTR defeated the Briscoe Brothers at April 1st's Ring of Honor show. Um, and we have a new Ring of Honor World Television Champion. Okay, Samoa Joe is your new uh, Ring of Honor TV champion. Um, he defeated Termahiro Ishii. I believe it was him. Yes, I believe it was him. Um, yeah, Termo, Termo Hiro Ishii. Um, Jonathan Grisham is the, the undisputed world's champion in Ring of Honor Wrestling. Um, let me tell you something. If you are a purist wrestling fan such as myself, you will love Ring of Honor's pay-per-view. It happened on April 1st. That show was off the wall, phenomenal. Um, the Briscoe Brothers and FTR, they stole the show. The Briscoe Brothers came away with the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championship. And um, th that show was amazing. Jonathan Grisham and Bandito had one hell of a matchup. Um, Samoa Joe becomes the world television champion when he defeated Minoru Suzuki, who Minoru Suzuki won the title from Rip Titus at the April 1st pay-per-view. But on Dynamite this past Wednesday, I believe, um, uh, Minoru Suzuki lost the world television title to Samoa Joe on an AEW program. So there's a lot going on. Folks, I'm going to do my best to keep up with all of this, but it's been great to come back with you guys and talk boxing. I'm always talking wrestling. I love my supporters. Shout out to Going the Distance. Always showing me love. Always showing me support. Shout out to my friend Dominique, who was one of my first subscribers. 
I love you. I love you all. Thank you for all the love and support. Uh, your boy's back on YouTube. Wrestling and boxing forever. Scott Hall, always and forever. Love you, miss you, rest in peace. Wrestling and boxing forever. I'm out.